Joshua in Portugal, how are you? Hello, uh, hello. <laughs> well, I didn't think hello. I'd get on. <laughs> I, uh, I, yeah. I, hello? Hello? Hi, uh, we can hear you. Oh, good, 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 good. Uh, hello, I'm honored to be on this talk show. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little nervous. That's okay. That Breathe, Joshua. Right. Breathe. Yep. It's just it's just Rudy B and Lloyd Evans here to yeah. take your question. Okay. Yeah, we're just a couple of schmucks on the internet. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like I'm calling in because I recently had to um, talk with someone, and she doesn't really understand what atheism is, and it's been very how do mm. I say difficult to. Uh, to get what she meet to explain to her, would you have any advice on how to talk to her about that sort of thing? Well, how has the conversation gone so far? Like, what is what is her not understanding look like? Well, she thinks that people like who not I shouldn't say all atheists, but she she thinks that atheists are religious in the sort of way she she says because we I because I think it's the misnomer that. The atheism is people who don't believe in a god, but they believe the correct terminology is a lack of belief in God, if I'm correct. It depends on who you ask. Or I mean, that is entirely, it's, uh, you know, you can look at different definitions. Uh, the way that I use the word, certainly, I'm not excluding the possibility of a god. Because as I mentioned earlier in the show, if somebody gave me all the proof that uh, a deistic god did indeed have to have created the earth, I would, I'd be like, okay. That's fine, you know. Just as long as you can show me the evidence, I am open to it. Um, yeah. So it depends on who's yeah, using the term, have... really. Well, when I used the term, I was just saying that it's uh, that I don't accept the claim that there is a god, but I am open to it. But she she uh, called me agnostic, but I am technically an agnostic atheist. So. What, how would I, How would you say would be the best way to explain to her the points of atheism? Because she has the same arguments that theists, a lot of other theists, have about us, about atheists. It's difficult without being actually in the conversation. And, you know, yeah. when you're in the moment and you're hearing the specific arguments, you're in a stronger position to, you know, suggest what you might or might not say. Uh, but when it comes to atheism being a religion... Um, I would ask if your friend is familiar with, you know, straw manning. Um, and I, I'd suggest that a more productive way of making progress in your conversation is, is for them to accurately understand what atheism is. And when you accurately understand what atheism is, you realize that it cannot be a religion. It's the exact opposite of a religion. It's lack of religion. It's lack of religious beliefs. So I, I, would, I would only suggest that in order to make progress um probably your friend might need to understand more accurately where you're coming from yes because yeah. she's she's also this one other person is that she no she's also the one that says that like she thinks like i'm i know i shouldn't be she's the person who thinks that magic is like actual magic you know like like uh the things from fantasy and all those things no, we've been there trust us <laughs> It's hard for me to try and explain it to her because if I try to explain to her, I might sound like I'm being a killjoy or I'm being an asshole. Yeah. Can I say that on my have, air? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Uh, Joshua, have you always been an atheist or did you come from a religious uh, background yourself? No, I was never, my parents never raised me religious. They wanted me to be my own person. And I've never did, and even when I was young, I never bought into the idea of a god, because if a god really did exist, uh, why would he create such pain and misery for everyone else? I, if mm -hmm. God truly was a loving being, he would have not that, caused us pay this much suffering in this world. Yeah, That might be part of where your roadblock is, it's because I know as a theist that there was definitely a time when I thought that God was the default position that just made the most sense. So... Yeah it's it, it's hard it was kind i mean i caught on pretty quickly like okay i understand what atheist means but it was a new it was new information like before that i hadn't really considered what an atheist was or what that meant um so from 
her perspective, presumably, uh, I, you know, uh, again, we're not in the conversation, but from her perspective, it's like probably most of the people around her are theists. Most people believe in a god or some sort of spiritual higher power thing. And depending on the religion she has been raised in, she may have her own preconceived ideas of what an atheist is and what they believe and what they're like. Uh, you know, even without being directly like atheists are bad people, there are certainly a lot of ideas, at least that are preached in Christian apologist circles about how atheists just want to sin or uh, atheists are mostly just homosexuals who couldn't be celibate. They just couldn't do it. So they went and decided to just not believe in a God or they were mad at God for whatever reason, uh, maybe something bad what, something w broke bad in their life and they just gave up on the concept of God because he wasn't doing enough favors for them. There's all sorts of preconceptions and baggage that she's probably coming into this conversation with. You really just need to explain yourself. Like, mm -hmm. forget about what you've heard about atheists, forget about even the word atheist. This is my belief system or lack thereof. Like, this is what it is, yeah. and at that point, if you don't just take me for my word, then I really don't know what to tell you, because you've already convinced yourself that I'm not telling you the truth, I guess. That's fair enough. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, oh, uh, one other thing, if, if I must also, if I can say something. I, if I should have had, I also had some bad experiences, because I'm autistic, you see, and when I was one of a religious school, I think it was also contributed to this, they called me demonically oppressed, uh, possessed when i was younger if i got up to them. yeah i'm sure that didn't help you want to become religious i'm sure that didn't help oh yeah. yeah it didn't well i'm so sorry you yeah. went through that oh it's not worries it was on the best but i appreciate uh, lloyd uh i'm sorry i forgot your names uh, lloyd and rudy lloyd and rudy. rudy thank you two so much for taking my call i appreciate it greatly uh, you two are awesome and you're doing a great service for the for uh people who are atheistic in this who don't have a voice thank you so our much. absolute pleasure thank, thank you, you so much for calling yeah. thank you so much thank it's you. a good call and we, say, and we say in portugal ciao <laughs> ciao. ciao oh what a uh a lovely call except for that bit about oh god i Mental illness being equated with demonic possession yeah. is like one of those things that is instantly just a hot button, like will piss me off immediately. Ooh, There's that gets me fired up. So much yeah. ignorance that religion has to account for, you know, and goodness yeah. knows what that will do when you're young and uh, how that will mess with your brain. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. glad he didn't buy into it. Yeah. I'm glad that he didn't buy into it. Uh, so now it is time for us to announce the patrons of the week. Uh, our top five patrons are, drum roll for myself, uh, Eric Tweet, CJ Dennis, Dingleberry Jackson, Balaam's Donkey, Paul, Leah, and of course, honorary mention, the great North American Dingaloo. Thank you, guys. And again, if you guys want to support us on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash talkheathentome. Uh, it is a great help for not only this show, but all the ACA's productions. 